the worst times I've ever went through mental health is when I've been quiet mm-hmm. and not spoke to people. Because and your brain terrorizes you. See, the end, see, honestly, the end of last year, I, I was coming in here talking to the low key and Chris Toad and all that about mental health and all that. And I'm pure sitting falling apart, but like mm-hmm. trying to keep it together. Like, I remember when I came in and I was talking to Chris McQueer and I and, and, uh, was really, really putting on thick that night. I was mm-hmm. like, Let, let's try and go in here as much energy as you can and, you know, mm-hmm. be as if like you are feeling okay and everything's fine. Mm-hmm. And I remember Paul was like, I tell you after that, he was like, oh man, I did really well, mate. A lot of, a lot of energy about you, mm-hmm. a lot of good things about you. And I was like, oh, cheers, man. And I remember being like, oh, that, I remember dreaming, I think, oh, it's good that they've been bought that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that, it's a terrible thing when you're think, when you, when you're that much in your head that you're going, I want, I want to pretend to people that I'm okay to the point where I'm going to, you know, because see, when you're at that point, if you're at that point, then you're listening to this, you need to know that. The only reason why you're thinking about that is because you're thinking about suicide, mm-hmm. and that you know it's kind of a it's a it's a dark word to use at times, but it needs to not be because mm-hmm. it's it's the biggest killer of people my age, mm-hmm. and it could have easily killed me last year, hundred mm-hmm. percent. Like, and I think that when you're thinking like that and you're pretending and you're and you're kidding on that you know to everyone else that you're mm-hmm. this big bubbly joy that's totally fine and everything's good. You're only doing that because you're saying to yourself, I'm going to get by and buy this to the point where I can finish this pain that I'm feeling rather than sharing it with somebody and saying, no, look, I'm struggling and, and knowing that you have the help there. And when you, and when you get that help, like everything gets better. Like, like you say, having the guts to just be like, look, listen, mate, I really need your help here. Mm-hmm. And there's nothing wrong with feeling this way. Like feeling that way is everybody's went through a point in their life where they feel you know, really, really low, and but you just need to know that the help is there, and and like uh, many people have said, like I'd much rather be have my pal cry on my shoulder than be at somebody's funeral. Definitely, 